Over the years, I have shared with you my duct tape addiction, and now I'm going to share with you my canned collection, okay? Canned goods. I like to recycle the cans from canned goods when I'm done cooking because I can always see a craft that needs to be done with them. I hate to throw them away. I have a um, miniature addiction to collecting and recycling and repurposing used cans. I'm not quite a can hoarder, but I do like to recycle them. And if they happen to have a nice little um, brand message on the bottom, I will open the can in the reverse order. This was from a can of Glory Green. This one was from Memorial Day's Bush's Baked Beans. And this one says, Touch of Maple Syrup. So I'm gonna show you what I do with my can addiction. Stay tuned. You're only going to need a couple things to make this project. A pair of scissors to cut the paper and I have already pre-measured because I know the can is just wants to go like this. So I measured about how much I was going to need. And depending on how you detach your label, there may be a little bit more sticky stuff left on here and you can use that to your advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my paper down. I want the edges to still show. Take that strip of tape and once I line it up the way that I want it to be, go ahead and push that tape down. Now the rest is just slowly rolling the paper. And taking one more piece of tape and secure it. It doesn't matter because it's transparent tape. And now that I have gotten it all wrapped up like I want it, I am looking at it. And because the paper is a firm gift wrap paper, it is not hard at all to fold inside the can. And I made sure to cut all of the sharp edges off the can so there's no danger of my cutting myself. Just continue to press the overlapping paper inside the can. You don't have to be perfect with this project. And here you go. Now I'm going to leave mine plain, but you could use a variety of trims and ribbons and buttons, whatever your heart's desire, to finish it off. 